An away win for Manchester United against Fulham will give breathing space for Ten Hag after back-to-back -back heavy defeats against Man City and Newcastle. The win doesn't change much as United still needs to improve overall and the news coming out from United dressing room about players revolt and media writing negatively about Ten Hag is not helping the team at all. Ten Hag still has to deal with two key areas now to rally through this difficult period as he clearly doesn't have goals to get wins all the time and neither does he have a solid back four to defend against any team. 1. Managing the egos of some players Ten Hag still has to deal with players who are simply not good enough but still has to be around this season for him. Players like Anthony, Rashford, Sancho, Maguire and Marshall seems to have some issues and always play within themselves and do not put any efforts. To add to the situation, the injuries to Martinez, Casemiro and Shaw is not helping Ten Hag as they were his key players last season to get him narrow wins. He is clearly aware that most of the players should not be part of his team but he doesn't have any choice than to keep them around and get the best out of them for this season. Even after he will have the full strength team in couple of months, Ten Hag will most likely miss out on top for this season and will have to clear the deck to start all over again next season. Till then, Ten Hag should manage the egos of these overpaid players and take the team to a respectable position in the Premier League table. 2. Stop leaks from players and get media and pundits behind him. Ten Hag now has to do damage control by being with players and stop the news leak as it's adding more fire to the fuel. Many of the overpaid players who should never play for United are still inside the dressing room and becoming bad apples for Ten Hag. They will not hesitate to throw Ten Hag under the bus just like it had happened with old managers. United board should back Ten Hag completely as he is just into his second year and needs time to complete at least three years to build his team. For that to happen, Ten Hag needs the support of players who can run brick wall for him, but at the moment, he seems to have some players who do not want to put complete effort and therefore Ten Hag has to be careful and should pick a side who can play for him rather against him. It doesn't make any sense to keep changing manager as no club can function properly if players dictate terms and does a coup and get the manager fired. It's a wrong precedent that United or any other club should allow us doing so, it will not allow any club to build a team from the ground up. United fans, media and the players should support Ten Hag to allow him create his playing style and build a team for the future. Thanks for watching.